this particular question, we are given a polygon which, is, which has sides parallel either to the x-axis or to the y-axis. The simplest one that I can think of of this type is essentially a rectangle. See, because all my angles will be 90 degree because they are parallel either to the x-axis or to the y-axis. Then it may have a concave angle as well with the internal angle as 270 degree. So this rectangle is possible. Let's try and to draw any other figure. Now I can just bring it down and then it will close my polygon and finish my polygon or I can take it up. So I can form a figure like this. So this has one concave angle which is 270 degree. The others which is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this has one concave and 5 convex. Whereas this had 0 concave and 4 convex. Let's try some more. So 1, 2, 3 is fine. Let's say this is one concave. Let's make another concave. Then I think we'll be able to close it with just the convex ones. So how many do I have here? One concave, two concave. And the others? One, two, three, four, five and six. So I have two concave and six convex angles. Do you notice a pattern here? What is happening? Well, the gap between the two of them, the number of concave angles and convex angles or concave corners and convex corners is 4. 0, 4, 1, 5, 2, 6. Because every time I'm adding a concave angle, I have to add a convex angle and this gap of 4 will always be maintained. Which means the number of concave angles will always be at least in this type of a figure, be the number of convex angles minus 4. And how many convex corners do I have here? I have 25 convex corners. So how many concave corners will be there? 4 lesser than that, 25 minus 4. Or I get my answer as option C, which is 21. Thank you.